Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today I want to talk about Dungeons and Dragons. I want to talk about dungeon mastering and what we supply and what we deny. I'm going to do a, another round of supply and deny. What do I supply the players at my table, and what do I deny them, right? So I'm currently running an FLGS um, Dungeons and Dragons 5th Edition Eberron Obsidian campaign, and I have five players, and they are choosing every week to play, right? right now but I do not assume that I never assume that I like have engagement from all players at all times I really think and I mean come on like and if you do if you expect that you have engagement from all your players at all times you're not paying attention man like Hollywood right now is going through a massive loss right like they are putting up good movies and being rejected and the reason why is a whole lot of reasons, right? Like, that's it, that's a separate video on why Hollywood is failing to engage people, right? But it's happening. It's very real. It is really happening, right? So, basically, you need to think very carefully about, you know, how am I engaging these players? What am I supplying them as a dungeon master? And what am I very really denying them as a dungeon master? So, supply and deny. So, I, so what, what am I supplying my players? One thing that I'm very proud to supply for my players is I am a, a, a true, full, unrepentant, unregretful Dungeons & Dragons 5th Edition Dungeon Master. And boy, oh boy, are they rare today, right? Like, So basically, go over to uh, Professor Dungeon Master, Ben from Questing Beast. Bob, oh, Bob World Builder is the perfect example of this, right? Oh, DM's Lair. There's so many of these guys. Dungeon Dragons 5th Edition Dungeon Masters who actually fully despise Dungeons and Dragons 5th Edition Day and are cease and are waiting like to be, hey, can I beg you to play Call of Cthulhu? Because I actually hate Dungeons and Dragons 5th Edition, but I'm running the Dungeons and Dragons 5th Edition to trap you in this table and then subvert you to a different game. Right? Like it is constant. It is all over, right? And so there and there is this thing where everybody's like indie games and OSR games are the best in the world. We just can't drag people to play them, right? So what we'll do is we'll we'll spin up a D&D 5e game and then we'll convert them. We're like, and there's, there is literally, like, no less than, like, 50 people online right now who are like, I'm a quicksand Dungeons and Dragons 5th edition dungeon master. I'm going to trap you and pretend like I'm a good dungeon master who runs a good tabletop roleplay game, but really all I want to do is take you through through this trash OSR indie game that I desperately want to play and you really don't. Right? Like so that I that's real. And and I'm not just a low end one, I'm a high end one, right? My dungeon my my Dungeons and Dragons players know that on any week they can be in the middle of Ghosts of Salt Marsh, they can be in the middle of Keys uh, Keys from the from the Golden Vault, they can be in the middle of literally any source book that is out for 5th edition, right? I know them, I can run them, and when I run them, I do it with joy and a smile on my face, right? So that's one thing that I am supplying them, and I think that's in, that's in rare demand right now, right? What am I denying them? One of the biggest things I think I deny them is a celebration and a granular, um, a, a celebration of and a granular engagement with their build. Right? I am really agnostic to my player's builds. I'm like, you're building your player character. I'm, my job is to level you. Your job is to decide what you're going to do with that build. And I'm not going to talk to you about, oh, this is a good fit with this player character because they're running this and this build should be all cozy with it. And I'm not going to talk to you about your feats that you're choosing. And I don't really even want to hear about it. Right? Like, your player character progression, that's a sub game that you are playing by yourself with every DMG, with every, with Dungeons and Dragons 5th edition itself, right? And I want to provision you the levels you need to progress, but it is really completely, I, it, it, it doesn't, I'm not highly engaged in how strong your build is or how weak your build is, right? I just, I'm not. And I know a lot of players want that. They want, you know, they want the story to match the build options and for the Dungeon Master to be very engaged or very impressed with their build. It just, it just ain't me. And I'm denying them that, right? And, you know, when I say that, I'm saying it because I know, right? 
if you're going to have a physical table game, you're going to fight for it. You're going to fight for it. In today's world, like, everybody is fighting to get attention, right, and to keep attention. So that's my, that's another set of my supply and deny. Give me one of yours. What, you, what do you supply your characters? What do you deny your characters? I'd love to hear yours. We should be thinking about this as Dungeon Masters.